Do you guys want to know how to build a temperature controller to control three separate aquariums in your fish room or in your room with tanks? Then this video is for you. If you guys like DIY projects for fish tanks, give this video a like. Let's try to get over 200 likes. Do you think we can do that? Let's go, 200 likes. What's up everybody? This is Paul, the Inventory King. Hope you guys are all having a great one. If you could click that subscribe button and notification bell, I'd be honored for you to join me on my fish keeping adventures and so you don't miss out on future content. So today, we are gonna go through the steps of building a controller like this that is going to be able to control three separate aquariums. So let's go ahead and start from the beginning. So what I'm using for the build obviously is this plastic case. Uh, I got three single electrical outlets. I got three indicator lights and three STC 1000 temperature controllers. that. We need to work on assembling the controllers themselves. So first things first, let's go ahead and strip some of this back. Your, your hot wire, you got your earth wire right here, and you got your neutral right there. So on the side here, it says this is where the power is. So you're going to put a hot, hot into here, and then you can see that that is gonna be right, right in here. So we're gonna feed hot into here, and then we're gonna split that hot off over to the heating side and go from there, and then the neutral gets hooked up back up on this side later. So we're gonna go ahead and go through it. Here's the diagram right on the controller. It's uh, you know pretty, pretty, easy to, pretty easy to work with. So we need to strip that back, cut a piece of that off there. This is gonna go right into there perfectly. Screwdriver right here on the connector, there is a, actually we need a smaller one. There is a flathead screw that crimps it down. We need to go ahead and connect that to this side. Strip it back. And then we need to cut ourselves a piece that we're gonna be able to go from here to here. Feed this into the power, power side. So we're gonna fit it into the power side here, flathead, and you're gonna screw it down to tighten it up. Now we need to connect these two. Now these three are gonna go together like so. Hold the, hold the cable, twist them together. Okay, now we need a wire nut. Here we got our wire nut, we got our three uh, all connected here. We're gonna go ahead and get this on here. This is where our main power is gonna come from. So it's gonna come into here, run into this power side, then it goes into this power side, and then we need to run power from here on out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up all three like this. All right, so as you can see, we got all three of them wired up on the first part. Now what I want to do is we're going to go ahead and run uh, a neutral wire here. So on this part of the diagram here, we got the power. The second terminal on this first one is your neutral. So I'm going to cut a piece of neutral, a decent size, get it in there, tighten it down so it's just, it's done. It's, it's ready to go. I don't have to bother with that anymore. All right, so we got that part done. Now what we need to do is run some more power line. So we're running power to the controller that tells the heater to go on and off, and this needs to run down over here. The first one through. Now these go on this part of the actual controller. All right, so we got the first part of this done. Now the next part of the project, like I said, is getting the plug and the LED light hooked up. Now these are gonna go off of the line that's on the heater terminal because you want this to control when it turns the heater on and when it turns the LED on. So this is on this line, on this side. This I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna split it off here just like I did on this so that I could run to each one just so it's a little bit easier. And then this sucker is gonna go here like this. 
going to go ahead and cut some of the excess off right about there. And then slip this sucker on. And we are in business. So that is how we set this part up of the build. Now we need to go and feed this through the front side of the front panel. These are uh, AC switching, so it doesn't matter which uh, one I put them in, but you wanna make sure that you put the, you wanna hook this up correctly. This is an AC uh, LED, so it's switching. So, you know, it's, it's okay if, if it goes on either one. Now, when you're hooking up a plug, the black hotline goes to the brass screw. So make sure you always put black to brass. So that goes there. So what we need to do now so we can screw this in is we need to run the neutral and the ground. All right, so as you can see, we got the LEDs hooked in and the plugs hooked in all to the hot. Now we need to go ahead and get all the neutral ran, which is gonna be the same thing. It's gonna go from this white to this, to this. All right, so as you can see, we got the ground on each uh, plug and then we got the pause or the, the live and the neutral hooked up everywhere. Now I made one mistake which will be easy to fix and that is I forgot to have a main line that ties all the neutrals together. So I'm gonna pull these caps off, these three, and uh, I have bigger caps here so I'll be fine. Or I think those ones are bigger. Anyway, I'm gonna pull these off, get some white, tie it off so that we could tie those together. So that was the only mistake I made. Okay, so I got that fixed. Like I said, I got uh, the extra neutrals out. I had to use a bigger um, nut here. Okay, so what we need to do now is actually get the plugs here screwed in. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we're at a, the point now where what we need to do is we need to connect the neutrals together. Obviously gotta strip them, gotta cut connect those together, connect these together, connect these together, and then connect them up to here. So we are getting close to the end of the project. Now all we need to do is connect all of this to the power plug and we're gonna be set. Now what we need to do is we need to connect the cable to the outlets. So we got, we got it put together. Okay, everybody, so just to give you guys again an idea of how this works, obviously we have the power coming in here. So let's start off with the controllers though. How it works, you got your power coming in, you bridge it over to this one, which is the heater controller, and then you run power out of it to your light and to your plug. And then again, hook your neutral up. So again, once the probe registers what we want, it'll, It'll tell this switch here to turn on, which will lead the power down into the light and the plug, and that's how it works. And then the rest of it, I just bridged everything together to make it work as one unit. But what's awesome is I'm gonna control three aquariums with this box. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> oh man, I think that is so cool. Okay, as you can see, we got a screw put here on the wall. This is gonna be for the rack. Um, that is on the side when you walk in straight ahead of you. Um, what I did was on the back side, I drilled a hole so that it, uh, I could get it in there. So let's go ahead and fit that. So now what we need to do is I marked the probes on uh, which one goes to which tank. So we need to wipe them down and set them into each tank. Okay, so I have these uh, little suction cups with clips on them that we're gonna use. We're gonna wipe it down with this wet rag and start. Okay. 
So we're gonna go ahead and get this wiped down a good amount so that, again, we can get it across on the other side of the tank so it's not next to the heater. Okay, so we have them set from left to right. One, two, three. So the left is the top tank, the middle is the middle tank, and the right is the bottom tank. Now we can see what temperatures are registering on the controllers. So it's seen that tank one is 77.6. Okay, so here's the top tank. Now I'm gonna say that that's 76 and just barely maybe a point up. So this needs to be calibrated. The probe is not calibrated properly. The middle tank says 82. Now if we look here, it says 84. And then the bottom tank says 83. And 84 again. Okay, so we know this is the top tank, middle tank, and bottom tank. We know that this is 76 degrees. We know that this one is 84 and 84. So we need to calibrate the probes. So in order to do that, we need to hold down the S on the controller. Now, T5 means what temperature we want the controller to turn the heater on at, okay? So you click the S. So right now it's set to 75. So I want the controller to run the heater until the tank hits 79 degrees. Click S to confirm. Now this is Celsius or Fahrenheit. We don't need to do that because we're already in Fahrenheit. CA is the temperature difference. Okay, so we need to calibrate it. So we know that this is one point um, six away and it doesn't go in that. So let's just say it's at two. We're gonna confirm that. Now this is the temperature difference. So we're gonna give it a range. It could be at 79 degrees and one temperature, one degree temperature difference on each side and it'll be okay. Then you hold the power button. Okay, so we can see that it said 75.7. That's what it's calibrated at now and you can see that the heater turned on. When we looked at this earlier, it's 76. So I'm gonna go on the caution of the other side. I'd rather not boil the fish. So we're gonna go back here. And remember that CA that we're gonna change. So we're gonna change that up to negative one, and then we're gonna push the power button. It's gonna sink in. Okay, so 76.8 is what it's registering at. If you can see, the heater is on, so we know that they are working. All right, so you can see that this thing is calibrated and rocking and rolling. So now this thing controls the tank. Okay, so now when I walk into the fish room, what's super cool about this is this is what you see. Let's go into the fish room. Okay, so it's pitch black in here. There it is. Just walk right up to it. Tells you the temps and the light. You know exactly when a heater's running. I mean, obviously you can see that there, but that's from a glimpse. It's super cool. What did you guys think of the video? I hope you guys enjoyed it. In the comments down below, let me know what you guys think of the video. Again, click that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll be notified when future content comes out. This is gonna be a super cool thing to have and uh, it was cool to make. So again, if you could comment, like, share, subscribe, that would be great and stay tanked. I am in no way responsible for any issues or damages that may come from building this product, I am not liable for no kind of issues from building this.